I am on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, and Zoom. Today is training number 282. Topic title for today is getting your team serious. I'm going to go ahead and do a share screen. Let's get right into this. I will make sure and get each and every one of you the notes for today. Thank you so much for joining us as always on these calls. I'm excited to be able to help you guys to grow your teams, grow your organizations. And as a, as a part of this process, it's how the heck do you get your team serious? Because like some of you on social media right now or on the Zoom, you're serious. You want to be successful. You want that passive income. You want to build a team. You want to be able to leave your job if you have one. Or if you're on the trading side, you're serious. How do you get your team to be serious? That's what I want to talk about today. Well, one of the things I tell people is every person that you ever enroll is an individual unit of a volunteer army. <laughs> okay. That means everyone literally is an independent business owner. It's volunteer work. They're not on salary. They're not getting an hourly pay. They don't have to do this. And so you really can't push them that hard. Okay. And so, but you got to understand this because for most people, this is their side gig. Whether this happens or not, for most people, they're not going to pay their bills with this anyway. So just understand that first and that way it'll make you a little less frustrated. Number two is you got to get that new person to buy into wanting to do it. It's a whole, you can, you can bring the horse to the water, can't force them to drink. You got to get people to buy into actually wanting to do this. If they are not prepared, they don't really want to do this. They kind of want to do it then you actually need to be okay with that. One of the things I talked about on another training I did is sometimes when people go to the gym and they get a gym membership, it's really the go there, kind of chill out a little bit, maybe do a few reps, but they're there to kind of get their protein drink, their Jamba juice, you know, and, and those kind of things. So allow these people to grow into that way of thinking, no matter how long it takes, meaning that they want to do this. Like for me, my plan B is to make sure plan A works. There is not another option. I don't have a side business. This is all I do. I wanna make this happen. So when I work with new people, I wanna eventually persuade them to have that thinking as well. Now, some people, they just wanna come and they wanna be a customer, all right? They don't ever wanna build. You need to accept that. The volume points are the exact same, whether they are a business builder or a customer, the volume remains the same. And so you wanna make sure that you understand that with the new people that you bring, okay? If someone comes into this business and they're told and they're pushed and they're prodded that they need to take this seriously, that they need to take massive action and they're pushed into this place where they're not ready for it, I, I promise you they're gonna quit. Now, the reason why I'm saying this is I can raise my hand. I used to try and do that with people, almost guilting and shaming people into get, getting to the work, right? Taking massive action. I backed off and realized, look, not everybody thinks the way that you think. Not everyone has the same goals and the vision. Not everyone wants to come in here and build this. When you're talking about making 10 grand, 25,000 a month, they're talking about, they just want to make an extra 100, 200 bucks a week. They just want to make their car payments. They just want to pay their monthly fee. You see what I'm saying? Don't push people into taking the massive action. You're going to push them out the door. They're going to turn off their membership, okay? Ask them questions. For example, the, the, these are qu actual questions that I ask a new person. What are your goals? So what do you want to accomplish? What do you want to get out of this, right? Why is it important to you? And then they give you that why. It's my mom, it's my dad, it's my sister. Or I want to bring my wife or my husband home or something like that, right? What do you hope to accomplish? Take two or three of these questions and ask those new people because rather than someone just saying, I just want to make more money, frankly, that's not enough. Making more money is not gonna get them out of bed, unless it's their job, of course. But for a side business, that is not enough of a reason for people to take action, okay? One of the things I've said for a long time that still works to this day, you take a consulting approach. You are a doctor, it's not a sales approach. You're providing a prescription for the problem, but guess what? You have to diagnose and find out what the problem is in the first place. The person says, I'm in debt. I don't like my situation. I need to climb out of this. I'm financially not doing well. I'm working 68 hours a week. I don't have enough time. So you pretend in your mind, it is like you're a doctor and you're gonna provide a prescription. What's a prescription? It's our tools, our knowledge, our mentorship, our leadership. These are the things that they need that can help resolve the problem that they have that right now they don't have, okay? So very important to take that kind of approach. Another one, we have an event coming up in Budapest get people to an event. 
So whether it's a convention, whether it's a regional, whether it's a Zoom call like this or a go live, you want to get people to events because big decisions are made at events. People get that feeling when they're around other people who are getting inspired and they want to take action. And I always tell people events are the glue that keeps people together. There's all sorts, uh, sorts of statistics that show that if you bring uh, even a single person to an event, what that can do for your income over the next 12 months, just one person. So live events, webinars, calls, things like this, okay? Or a convention, an in-person event, okay? Now, one of the last things I wanna tell you, by the way, today is a very short training, but one of the last things I wanna tell you is in order to get your team serious, that means that you need to be serious as well. You got to stop playing around with this, treating it like a hobby. Treat this like a real business. I need to show up every day. I need to do be doing something every single day to be moving the needle of my business in the right direction, okay? Now, if you want to get access to today's training, go to Brandon Boyd Official on Instagram. I only have one account, Brandon Boyd Official. Ask for the recording. Ask for the PDF. I'm going to give every single one of you a copy. Hope that you like today's training. Hope that you have a fabulous day. And we will see you next Tuesday for our training. Have a good day, everyone. We'll talk soon.